Welcome to TechSibo.com. In this video, I will show you how to customize navigation drawer activity. So let's get started. Open our project. First let's change our app name. Expand values folder from res. Open strings. Head over to app name and change app name. Now open NAV header main from layout folder. This is our navigation header. You can see one image view and two text views. Switch to code view. Change the text properties of both text view. Then we need to change the image with your logo or any images. So to do this, you can use third-party websites to create images for all the device dimensions. Also the easiest way to do is the default option. So right click on RES folder. Select new. Click image asset. Here browse your logo image. According to your image type and size you can play with the settings. Then set a name for the image. Click next and click finish to save your images. The image resources are automatically saved into the MIP map folder. Now in NAV header main. Change SRC of image view to our logo file. Now let's change the green gradient to match with our logo. In drawable folder. Open side NAV bar XML file. Now change start center and end colors to create a gradient. Now run the project. Now we successfully edited our NAV header. Now let's customize our menu of navigation drawer. Open activity main drawer from menu folder. Each menu item consists of an icon and a title field. Now let's change our title. Here I am adding sections of website to our menu items. Change all the title fillets with section names. After that change icons for our menu. Android provides lot of icons to use with our project. Select any icon. Change all the icons. Now switch to design to view result. Now we finished with the design part. Now we need to make each menu item clickable. Here I am going to change the web view URL when clicking menu items. Open main activity.java. Head over to on navigation item selected event. Here each if statement act as a click event for all the menu item. Before adding click events let's change the ID of all menu item. Then change our dot ID too.
Now let's change URL of WebView when menu item click. Add load URL and change the link according to the menu item. Do this for all the menu items. After that let's run our project. Now everything works fine. When we clicked a menu item the web view is loaded with that URL. You can download source code from GitHub, links in the description. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot. Thank you.